This is unexpected. I it, yeah, it's this is welcome to the welcome to the Bandless Zone starring just fucking that genuine piece of shit, that goddamn asshole, that fucking elfy motherfucker. I'm glad he and Agarpain have company. No, I'm not. Fuck them. Yeah, man, it's good. To, it's good to see them gone. D-Link really needed kneecapping, so it's yeah, it it's... just. We'll see if Piss Deal joins them. I doubt it because it's just no, not. It's, it's not on the same P- level, but. Pisty, despite having piss in his name, is a good boy. He he's just like a monster reborn. He's fine. You have to actually set up for him. Um, but yeah, the the, the ban list is first. On the we're just kicking off right into the fucking. We're knocking down your door with our feet. Our feet are all over the door. We're gonna use our big stinky feet on your door. Oh, you're you're you okay, man? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah. Big feet. Speaking of feet, Dryden. Get fucked. Yeah, it's like it, it didn't last long, but I'm I'm not entirely surprised. It's it, it's just too good. Yeah, it's let me let me tell you what I wrote down in my notes. <clears throat> fuck off, Dryden! You fucking cow tits! Fuck! I hate you! You you zoophile piece of shit! <laughs> fuck I'm, you! I was a bit more grown up, and I was saying I'm just glad that they didn't follow the OCG and ban Tanky as well. Or well, they didn't ban Tanky; they limited it. Well, limit, yeah. It's I. I'd still like to see zoos get some more hits because I, if there is ever an archetype that should not have existed, it's zoos. Yeah, they kind of need to be scrubbed from the record. I think, like, say get rid of get rid of the rat, and then I'd say I'd say they're fine. Like, because even even then, because like, as long as Zeus exists, think, Borbo ba- is ba- gonna be a problem. Yeah, ba- well, that being said, the like, barrage was only limited because Dryden came back. Yeah. So that may start coming back to higher numbers, but I'd like to see Rat Pier like gone as well because that yeah. tends to be a bit of a problem. Yeah. What else does Rat Pier do aside from like summon more of itself? So limiting uh, it is like when, on on summon it sends Zodiac to the graveyard. I think. Oh, uh, amazing! Even after getting limited, it's still causing. Okay, thank you, thank you, you <laughs> fucking rat, you literal rat, um, actual rat. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Hey. We- any Zodiac card, yeah, yeah. to the graveyard. Uh, um, but after the two big bands, which I think those were the only bands. Yeah. Uh, Misk is in the uh, in the malicious club in the sense that he's just gonna go back and on the ban list forever. Yeah, it's not surprising either. It's, it, these are all sort of hits that we all knew were coming. I think Misk Misk being limited is is fine. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice that dinosaurs have the option to use him it's not like a straight up ban and cripples their whole play yeah. style because like they they do kind of need that security and safety otherwise they just they will just die yeah i i like dinos like i i have always loved decks that fucking explode themselves to make plays and dinos do that in the most ludicrous way possible with a boss monster from three four fucking years ago that is still good it's crazy yeah, it's it's hard to believe that it's been it's been that long and you can still just play three Dino Smashers and win and win. Like that's pretty that's pretty impressive. I don't even think Monarchs have that kind of clout. No, I mean Monarchs are definitely in a better place because like uh, they finally got Lamau, pan- uh, free summon and draw. Yeah, I I I like the unintentional new Monarch support, but yeah, no. Um, this is a good hit for dinos without murdering them. Uh, striker dragon limit because LP refuses to die alone. Um, he had to take someone down with him, didn't he? Yeah, and boiled horse is back. Oh yeah, the hot horse Salamangrate might actually be able to, you know, do a bit more. Yeah, like I'd I'd be fine seeing Salamangrate as a rogue option because they've always been a pretty fun deck. Um, I'm just concerned that toss stuff. It feels like toss stuff is getting off pretty. Oh, oh yeah! Like this is like they they really jump, especially like and I think engage coming to one definitely sort of like that is how ob- obvious. This this sort of line of thinking is. I mean, it's not quite like are oh, the unlimited things like heart para or any other toss staples, but like these are sort of the things that were we were worried that would come back, like maybe even a, another year or so down the line, and they're coming back now. Yeah, I. Uh, Sky Striker is the big thing I'm concerned about because a pot of greed is fucking degenerate. Yeah, and considering how they they only need one, I think like like before they will try and hold off banning Engage and they'll just start limiting other shit again like Kagari and 
Widow Anka. Watch the amazing bandless juggling act. Guess which one is going to break my toes first when I drop it. Oh, wait, it's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what else was limited? Uh, Skullcrabat. Skullcrabat vest deck, let's go! Pendulum! I love Pendulum. Like... So I know, I. like when they're not when they're not like FTKing and being horrifically degenerate. I I do enjoy just Pendulum as a as an option, and it's it's been such a shame that they've had like to wait this long to even just get like one or two things back. Yeah, it's it's been for it's been longer than toss format for these guys to get their shit back. It's kind oh, of yeah. crazy, but I it's think as far as the Skullcrabat's concerned, like as long as Electromite stays banned, I think other other like. Other other pendulum monsters that were, that were hit can kind of sort of come back or start to come back. Yeah, I I am legitimately curious, and this is a question for you, the viewers, and also Reggie, who's right here, so he can answer. He can actually answer. I, I can hear you, you know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what do you think it's gonna? Do you think it's possible that Astrodact could get limited in the future? I personally think it's not out of the realm of possibility. I think there's a lot of a lot of things would need to be reband for Astrograph to come back. I think I'd like to see um the Lyralusk card, was it Assembled Nightingale? The the fusion one. Oh, get yeah. get get banned and then we can start to see things like um, Supreme King Starving, Starving Venom. Venom. Yeah. Astrograph might be able to sort of come back. I don't know. He's he generates quite a lot of advantage. But it's the it's the FTKs that he sort of mm, yeah. but that that was mostly Electromite as well though, wasn't it? Yeah, because like I, I fully accept that Astrograph and Electromite cannot exist at the same time. It, it it would be nice to see him back to one, and we'll just test the waters there. If they got to ban him again, then fucking so be it. I'm not going to tell you how to do your job here, Konami. Um, fucking... And, yeah, Double Iris is now Malicious's best friend on the semi-list, so they're going to hang out for a while. Malicious made popcorn. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's there for... He's going to be there for quite some time anyway, until they... Give them the hard ones, but turn around. Uh, double Iris yeah. is, is fine. Pendulum graphs are quite good now. Like now that you can actually search them and use them. Yeah, yeah. Consistently. I've I've always had a very big soft spot for time pendulum graph because it turns out uh, Lamau quick play send to graveyard is pretty fucking powerful, <laughs> especially when you combine it with uh, a pendulum call. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, other than that. Uh, it's just Let the un unlimited next, isn't it? The the only thing I got unlimited is symbol of heritage. Uh, oh yeah, isn't this? So this card is um. Giga Vice, Giga Vice, Giga Vice. Oh, is it Giga Vice that got this thing banned? Yeah, because I used it for Lone Fire, I think. Oh <laughs> uh, well, yeah, actually that that somehow that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is uh. this is pretty it's pretty cool though. Like, interesting that they uh. didn't even bother to errata it or anything like a once per once per turn or but you know sure yeah, I, I guess part of the thing is that so many decks nowadays have hard once per turns on all their shit anyways it's like yeah you can have three of them in the graveyard and it wouldn't fucking matter if you summoned a third one and it's not it's not like gigavise is easy to set up these days either so yeah as, as easy um, yeah, yeah plus we've we, we've got shit like ash blossom anyways so yeah it'd be fine yeah. But yeah, I, I like this list. I'm a bit concerned that Toss stuff is getting off already. It seems a bit fast. Um, I hope this means that we never fucking see Colossus again, that scaly hided piece of shit. Yeah, fuck fuck that. If it, if it was literally the full, the full like, Toss gang coming back, I think I'd be a bit more concerned. Engage, they can just emergency ban it if it's that bad. <laughs> Colossus shows up, DK rap slowly begins playing in the background. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yeah, um, after that, we got we got like a shit ton of TCG. When I woke up this morning, uh, we got the full reveal. I was like, Reggie, we have to go. Yeah, I was, um, I, was I was not paying attention when when King's Court dropped. This sort of dropped out. But before that, there's there's one other TCG product that came out first, and oh, oh boy. Oh 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 no! Yeah, I was just like, wait wait, which? Okay, it was. Oh oh. <laughs> he tried to blot it from your memory. I really rightfully did. so. All right, so. Let's talk about God decks because every everyone's talking about it. We got to get on it while it was still relevant. Worse than you could have possibly imagined. I'd say it's worse than that. <laughs> like, 
Like you, you all, you all complained about the the ice barrier structure deck, but this, this, this takes the piss. I made a prediction about there being no actual new cards and all of the cards within just being the god box imports. I was almost right. You are nearly right. It's they also imported level resist wall. You can't see, but I'm smiling. Yeah, like I think like, I see what they tried to do. Like they tried to import some of the um some of those cards. Little were, angel tell yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. What was they? The animation chronicle are they? What? What set were they from? They were in a premium pack, which had some... It's weird that they didn't put these in the Animation Chronicle, because now it means when the fuck are we going to get them, because they also uh, brought over stuff like, oh, the Fossil Skull car fuckhead, or whatever. Yeah, they're, so they've, 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 they've staggered that release, which is a bit irritating. Yeah, it's they've been really bad with staggered releases over here recently. Like, the, imagine having all these cards, like, oh, Crystal Beast, Rainbow Zenith Dragon, Neos Kludger, the fucking uh, Utopia F-Zero Draco, and staggering them out for over three fucking years this is like a link brains pack one but worse oh yeah absolutely um there's such a going back to the, the god decks like as well just just in general some of the some of the choices for like imports and what choosing what to import and what not to import is just it's just bizarre yeah like fucking level resist wall it, <sighs> and the reprints oh god the reprints I mean, hopefully you like Harpy's Feather Duster, because that's all you—that's all you really buy in this box. So Harpy's Feather Duster, Soul Crossing. Uh, I don't know about you, but I bought this deck from Bazoo the Soul Eater. All, all of them. <laughs> She's got a whole whole box of God decks just for fucking Bazoo. Yeah. I'm gonna launch them out of my bazooka. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, fucking credit, credit where credit's due. There are some interesting things that I'm quite happy to see, like Lair of Darkness and Arima is uh, is, is, a, is a nice reprint. Can Slifer even the, use even, those? Even, 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 not really, even though it's three Arima per box and one Lair. And I think, and I kind of think what they were going for is they want you to use Arima's self-tribute to draw a card. Why not just keep him in your fucking hand then? I don't fucking know. No. <laughs> like, like, like you, you literally just said earlier. I'm not going to tell you how to do your job, Konami. Don't, don't. Let's not get into. Let's not. No, no, I this. am because now you fucked up. <laughs> we could, you can't police everything. I'm like, going to fucking this, try. This, like, and I think my my biggest gripe is that this this would have been the perfect opportunity to reprint some of the stuff from the the Rage of Ra. All, all that kind of you, you got one like, reprint the, 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 from like it the, instead yeah you got the reactor slime and not not even not even like metal reflex slime and god slime <sighs> not even in enchant is it ancient chant ancient or chant. the the or the millennium the one that uses monster reborn yeah it's, it's, it's such a such a such bizarre choices and it's just a, a massive waste of money we, you don't need but us dude, to do we got that, another rouse disciple reprint fuck yeah let's <laughs> go look man you can you can summon this dude with fucking what was it forbidden fairy i, whatever I know is. i i know the one you're talking about it's special that's, zones of fairy that 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 is a combo tell yeah, me you can't combo. tell me that's a it's a four card combo because if you have that soul crossing and and the obelisk in hand, you can summon obelisk on your opponent's turn. You could also not do that. Yeah, no, you could also just. Why are you using your own monsters for soul crossing? Yugi would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Yugi would have played Wadapon. Uh. Yeah, where's Wadapon? Where where he at? I don't see him in the list. <laughs> don't worry about it. He's fine. Don't don't He's check killed. the basement. <laughs> but okay, fucking, well. I I want to I want to say a few more quick things so we can move on with our lives. Um, no mound of the boundary print. Yeah, that's also uh, that's one of the no, things I forgot to mention. No mound of the bound. No, the true name reprint. No true name. I don't think so. Uh oh, it's in it's in the slifer deck. Oh okay, never mind. But, like, fucking... 
Harpy fairy, Harpy's Fairy Duster is nice. The Angel Imports are nice, but that's it. The Gizmex are gonna be in this in the Megatins this year anyway. So who cares about those? Oh, uh, I also made a boo boo. Uh, Metal Reflect Slime is in there. Oh, okay, well, not the fusion one, so that's what counts. No, so, so basically, it's basically still worthless. This is also the first time I think that they've reprinted a legendary duelist card before it actually got reprinted in like its own side set. Yes, which is kind of an achievement, but also not really an achievement. Yeah, part of me, part of me hopes that means good things for Utopia structure deck, but who fucking knows? Anyways, King's Court. King's Court. King's Court. Um, yeah, no. Uh, uh, get ready to say the words Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Jack's Knight a whole lot because I'm, my I'm God, glad that's, a lot, of, that's a lot of Queen's Knight, the... King's Knight, Jack's Knight. Yeah, it's um, it's. I'm surprised because when I woke up this morning, I read these and it's like, wait, are these good? Cause like for the deck, they're not bad. These are actually pretty alright. Like I'm reading them now and like I, I think they're okay. Part part of me thinks like there's some synergy like, with like discarding, Triumph Joker with is it Joker straight, and then you get all uh, three. Yeah. So. And then you could then send send them all to thing to summon Triumph Joker, if, or you can use them Tri to summon extra Joker, or you can even fusion summon with them. So I guess, well, actually, it's actually, it's it's, it's surprisingly versatile in what, yeah, in what and, you can do. Yeah, yeah. Um, our Arcana Triumph Joker is. I think she's fine because I'm pretty sure it's. I haven't actually seen the art for them, but Arcana Triumph Joker is fine since um I'm pretty sure. It can revive. It can revive itself from the graveyard, which is handy. And it's not. I don't think it requires a whole lot to revive itself. I think it just needs a single discard, which is nice. Uh, no, yeah. you have to send. Um, you have to send queens, kings, and jacks knight from hand or face up field. Oh, that is a so bit it, tricky. It's, but it's, that's, it's, it's a little. It's, it's, it's a little steep, but at least you can send them from the hand as well. And plus, yeah, and for an extra discard, you destroy. It's like you destroy any face up card your opponent controls with the same type as the discarded card. So it's like, yeah, I I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna end up being the strongest monster on the field though, just because no. it's, by the time it's out and you'll be able to pop stuff, your opponent probably won't have a lot left in hand. Yeah, I'd I'd play one, I think. Yeah, I I think it's fine as a card. I I don't think it's the fucking end all be all boss monster for them, but I think it's, I think it's fine for getting rid of shit. Although most likely it will get negated, but you know that's that's every card in this game. Joker's Knight is pretty good as well. Sending you can send any from deck to graveyard. That's that's nice. Yeah, there's also no there's no restriction on it. Yeah, no it's a free body and becomes whatever name you need and even recurs itself at the end of your turn. Yeah, no, he's he's pretty good. He he, he can stay in the society. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I I like him very much. He's he might get used in some degenerate shit, but he's fucking whatever. We're here to have fun. Um, Imperial Bower is just a rescue rabbit for the deck. Yeah, I think th this kind of feels weird, especially like in relation to like Joker Straight, because while Joker Straight will like it will summon Queen's Knight and then then gives you the two other knights to summon, where 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 yeah. we then trigger it and get all three. And I suppose this is kind of like this the other side where if you don't have Joker Straight, you summon this and you get your two. I think that kind of yeah. Makes so it, Imperial. Yeah. Yeah, Imperial Bower and Joker Straight both kind of can work in tandem to get you all three of your boys on the field. Yeah, I think your boys and your girl. They 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 kind of clock that you need to kind of turbo these things out as soon as possible. Yeah, the Joker Straight only downside is that you can only special summon Light Warriors from the extra deck. But come on, you have a Soul Day access. You'll be fine, Jackass. Yeah, try try not to be too upset. When you when you, you see Something this in, when you, yeah when you see this in Noble Knight decks, this is a way to turbo out his old eight. <laughs> Run eight equip spells, summon gear freed from deck, win. Oh no. Um, face card. Yeah. Fusion. Uh, after that, there's. Yeah, face card fusion is okay. It's, it's unfortunately a bit limited in what it can do because I think there's only three monsters it can reasonably re reasonably bring out. Um, Edithin. Guilty Gear Freed and the OG Arcana Fusion. Yeah, it's very much like a, a purpose-made thing. Where I guess you could just yeah, also it's... Su you just search Polly or something. 
Well, I suppose it's I like mean, it this one prevents you from minusing as hard because it uses a monster in your deck. Yeah. Well, a few, a few, 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 few fusion, inside. fusion cards don't really impress me all that much these days. They, they, they don't really do. Yeah. Do a whole deal. They're. Much. They're gonna have to do something crazy with them in the future, I think. This fusion card bounces all cards back to your hand. That's my custom card. Thank you. Um. Thunder Speed Summon. I think I okay. don't. I don't like. After reading it several times, I don't like Thunder Speed Summon. I like it because this is one of the few cards that can add, unironically add Slifer to your hand. Yeah, I did notice that. I was like, what What could you search with this thing that's actually... Yeah, but then I also said, what can you search that's actually any good? And, like, I think the, it, it would it would have been, been cool if you could search things like Exodius or 10,000 Dragon. But it won't let you do that. You can search Ra, Slifer. You can search... Sphere mode or Cyber L Tannin. But the, the I'm I'm kind of confused as to the dark restriction. Uh, I think it's literally, and you're gonna love you're gonna love this. It's for hashtag law. So so you can't search Orakalkos Shunaros. <laughs> Why would you want to do that anyways? I don't know. I'm thinking that it's that it's that line of thing. It's just that. You, you know it sounds dumb, but you know it also makes sense. Why did they reprint the Wicked God cards if they didn't want me to use them? <laughs> no one wants to use the Wicked God cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah I, I, I thought when they said, oh, it's going to support Slifer, it meant that, oh, it's just going to shit out bodies on the field and there will be no direct relation. But this is this is kind of close to that, so I'll give them that much. Yeah, no, it's, def like, it's definitely... You could search, search him and then instantly normal summon him. Yeah, this is this is a good slifer card. The problem is it's hard it's hard to search. And yeah. and you may also have to run things like crossing souls, etc. etc. Any of any of the Actually God God. The next card on the list uh, Oh shit. Sure. Yeah, the next card sorry. Uh, yeah, the next card on the list, uh, Joker's Wild actually can copy it from deck, so Oh you yeah. can have six copies of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. It's a trap card, though, which is kind of. I mean, you 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 you, yeah. you, you, you were gonna you were gonna set you were, the... you were gonna set thunder speed anyway. But so I see how what you mean. Yeah, it's like uh, Slifer's a floodgate anyhow. So being able to shit him out on the start of the opponent's turn with Joker's Wild is fine. But the problem is, I think that's the only worthwhile thing to use Joker's Wild with. Well, I guess you could fusion summon to. I don't know. I'm 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 a bit mixed on Joker's Wild because where Thunder Speed Summon and Face Card Fusion are probably reasonable things to do on your opponent's turn, and I guess Joker's Straight. I I really don't know how to feel about Joker's Wild. It's it's all right. I think I think it being a trap card kind of puts a yeah makes it harder to it, use it, than it should have been. Hmm? Yeah, it, it it recurring itself is pretty nice too. Um, Court of Cards is the last, not the last new card, but the last new uh, jo Poker Knight card, and it's pretty decent. Just uh, lets you recover shit, and um, I guess lets you come back from a beatdown and bring out one of the knights. Yeah, it's nice. Um, sort of call Call of the Haunted slash like Jar of Avarice sort of thing. I don't know, banish one each from hand of graveyard. Not that, not quite that, but um, you, you, you can draw up to three cards if you banish three monsters, all three monsters, yeah. which is nice. That will that will get you some. Yeah. But it, I hate, I, 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 I kind of hate how it's just Slifer. it's one one effect per turn, or only once that turn. Continuous traps yeah. shouldn't really have that. Yeah, I've got that same issue with the um, uh, continuous trap for Cyberdarks, just because that would would have been so much nicer. Because it's hard enough to get your negates up on the board anyway. So yeah, well, they, they they do this all the time. Like even even yeah. thi even things like innocuous as like World Legacy pawns. I'm gonna make this a crawler issue. How you can only, you can only use one effect per turn when the effect is literally yeah. flip flip a monster face up or down. Don't you know, Reggie? We're we're not allowed to have fun anymore. We live. We live in a book of moon at three world. Give, give, give me what I. Book of moon society. Give me what I want. 
but that's about it for yeah, court of cards. There, yeah, there's there's two other new cards. One being Magnet Induction. Yeah, this is a shocker. Uh, no pun intended. It's. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's not even really a pun. It's just not even. They don't even have thunders. Yeah. It's, uh, Magnet Induction is really fucking good. It's fucking fantastic for the deck. It shits out any Magnet Warrior you need, lets you get off a search from them so you're still plussing. The fucking... It even gives you protection without any lock. It's a fantastic fucking card, which makes me wonder why the fuck they didn't reprint the Electromagnet Warriors. I was just about to say the same thing. This would be this would be fantastic with all these Magnet Warriors they're reprinting. Where are the Magnet oh. Warriors, Konami? You don't even print the Vanillas. Yeah, it's... I don't know, but after that, the last new card is XYZ Hyper Cannon, and this is a this is a weird one to see, especially because like, isn't XYZ Cannon who is GX or is that Kaiba? That was Kaiba, but then brought into GX because of the chess. Okay, is that fast? That's just not me like hallucinating. No, it, it was like both. Um, but yeah, it's 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 good. It's more of a win. It's, it's kind a, of interesting. It's a win more sort of thing though. Yeah, it's it's nice to recycle your banish ship, but it is an unsearchable card ultimately, and you do need the original X Y Z Dragon Cannon or one of the big boys that uses X Y Z Dragon Cannon, which means if you have V W X Y Z, you'd be good. But at that, if you have V W X Y Z, why the fuck don't you have Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon on the field at that point? <laughs> yeah, it just, it just it just escalates from that point where you just like yeah. Why 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 that why being you... said oh okay. If, if, if you're running A to Z turbo, oh boy. Yeah, play one. You, you're already, like, going through your deck quite quickly. Yeah. I mean, the pops would be kind of useless because you have a fucking non-once-per-turn Omni Negate anyways if you have A to Z, but you can recover your banish shit, which is okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of mixed on this one, though. Yeah, once again, it's one of those... It's just a... It's a continuous... Um, continuous trap, which makes it just hard to use. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a continuous trap that offers disruption, at least, but it does suck that you have to... You essentially have to wait a turn to get the recovery effect off, which is what you'd really want. Yeah. I don't know. I think it feels like they're just trying to compensate for having XYZ's effect not being quick effect. Yeah. So it's he's just, like, discount ABC now. It only took him 20 years to catch up. Wait for me, guys! Uh, but yeah, it's... I think, yeah, most of the rest of the set is a lot of imports, and they're pretty weird ones, too. This is just shit that everyone forgot about, and it's like, oh, look, oh, we have a D-hole here. Yeah, there's a lot of imports. Like, you start scrolling, and it just keeps coming. It's these things that, like, people have been quite excited for. Like, I know, um... Tropic Draco Future, White Rose Cloister, nice. White Rose Cloister. Um, Guilty Gear Freed's been a thing on people's minds occasionally. Crystal Girl is also quite, quite big. She searches Guardian Slime. Finally. Uh, Tin Dangle, Tin Dangle Dolls, but no uh, Drelleth. How do you say that? Yeah, I, I know the one you're talking about. The, 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 the you, you know, you know, you know, the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, not <dolls. laughs> the one you play three of in the deck, and not Team Dangle Dolls, which you play one of. Um, but yeah, I, I think I predicted this last time, but we got Utopic Draco Future, mm. which is nice to see. Um, he's, I feel like he's going to be an expensive card in this set, which sucks, but oh well. Um, uh, let's see. Some Pendulum cards, which you yeah. can find, finally search with. They're bad. Yeah, they're not great. Uh, there's bad photon cards. Um, Again, nothing new there. <laughs> the 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 reprints seem really hit and miss. Like, there's bad ones that were kind of expected because of the contents of the set, like the ZWs and the Poker Knights. They also reprinted Majestic Dragon for some fucking reason. Yeah, ma uh, us because um, Dawn of Majesty is coming soon. I know, but and why would you play Majestic a, Dragon? Because they can't print it in the main set, can they? 
because that would be stupid. No, but why would you... <laughs> Reprinting Majestic Dragon is stupid. If you're going to be stupid, be stupid. I don't know. I think more offensive than that is things like Gravekeeper Spy, but with no Gravekeeper support. Weird Yang Yeah, Yang Pot Zins. of Duality is a weird one, too. I don't mind Pot of Duality. Like, just keep keep that, uh, like, in circulation. I know it's not as yeah. quite, it's not quite as good as it used to be, but... Fucking, there are fucking some that were in, weirdly expensive. Infinite cards. Yeah, uh, that's probably there because like, oh, Slifer, many card in hand. Uh, um, Lightning Storm is the big one. Wait. Yeah, um, World Legacy Guard Dragon and Dolka are some pretty good reprints. Um, th there are also some cards that are just kind of weirdly expensive, like number forty nine, Scrap Twin Dragon and Constellar Ptolemy M seven. So it's it's fine to see those get reprinted. Yeah, this is definitely um, def definitely came out better than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting this to be a bit, given the current current yeah, track um, record of twenty twenty one release. Yeah, it's. I'm kind of surprised that the TCG exclusives are as good as they are. Um, yeah. Everything else is of wildly varying quality, though. It's. Well, it's fine. I look yeah, forward to it, it's better than Ghost from the Past, but that's not saying much. It that was a, that was a low bar. Let's be real. Yeah. Do we know anything about rarities, or is it just like just just? No, I think we just got the I think we just got the leak from Yu-Gi-Oh database. Um, I'm I'm assuming that like a certain chunk of the new cards will be high rarity, utopic, and maybe Lightning Storm will be high rarity. Everything else, I have no fucking clue. There. But yeah, well, that's a set. It's okay. It's slightly above average. It's fine. Um, after that is Battles of Smegan, also known as Brothers of Legend by Singles. Um, Brothers of yeah, Legends. it's it's time. I've already forgotten what's in this set. Uh... Yowie! What the fuck is this thing? Oh mate, oh yeah, this that little guy. I love him. He's he's a he's, he's, <laughs> Don't he's say favorite, that to me. He's my favorite little reject reject alligator spider. <laughs> Do you want to play Venoms? Yes. I, I think Yaoi was the card that tipped me off that oh, this is gonna be a pack filler set. Um... Yeah, battle battles of legends have really gone downhill since John Legend died. <laughs> Who? <laughs> John Legend. I can't, I can't tell if that's a real person or not. No! <laughs> Why would it be? I, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Um, there's Numeron Storm because they, they're they not printing IC-1000 until the new Maximum Gold set at the end of this year. Lol. Lamo. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I've, I've just I've just checked up on what's on this set. It's the it's just the, it's the Karibo boys. I love these things. You you go off on them. I, I want to hear you talk about them. I mean, let's be real. It's Karibos. They're not that good. Like, <laughs> we'll we'll get we'll get the important thing out of the way. But like, it that's they're weirdly consistent. Like, between. Using things like Garbage Lord, you can search Garbage Lord, pay the 2000, and then use, is it Generation Next? When your life points, and that, at that point your life points is probably lower. Oh yeah, yeah, Generation Next. You can then search or special summon another Karibo. Um, there is something about decks like this that just make you go maximum brain mode, and I don't know why. Oh, oh mate, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is either, but like... You can just you can just add add things, search things. Curry Babylon's pretty interesting because it doesn't even need the the other the small ones to to function. All you need is more cards in your graveyard than your opponent, or more more monsters in your graveyard than your opponent. So it, it's already just a, a normal ex extender. But with them, you can bounce it and basically get them all back as long as they're in the graveyard. 
and from there you can do your link plays, which Karibos tend to do quite well. Because normally what you'd used to do is you'd use uh, either like multiply to just generate tokens. But now now you can sort of like get rid of most of the other Karibos, the ones that were sort of like you had to play, but but that weren't very good. And now you just have to play the good Karibos, which is basically Curryborn. <laughs> I was about to say good Karibos. The the good the good Karibo. Curry, curry Soul Charge. You know, Curry actual AK forty seven. Curry gun. <laughs> curry locked and loaded. Yeah, and there's also stuff there like Curry Bullet. They they can there was like you can search Curry Bandit, which is just not ever gonna happen, ever. Because I don't think anyone's played Curry Bandit for years. But um Oh yeah, it does yeah, mention no. it by name, doesn't it? Yeah, um so it is it, Curry Bandit is now searchable if if for some reason you find yourself in a situation. But it, it, yeah, it's this is very it's very pet deck, but it's also quite fun because you can you 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 will find yourself like like getting some of these effects off, like the discard to search. There's one that you can just discard, and a Karibo monster gains like fifteen hundred attack, which is which is pretty big. <laughs> Karibo is fucking massive. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> and it's not even it's not even once per turn. You can discard three of these things to have a Karibo gain like forty five hundred attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's it's absurd, and this this is the kind um, of thing. None of none of these effects are one, once per turn, as well. So you can just you can uh, like as long as as long as you can keep these things in your hand, you've got fuel for. But the problem is, it, it does rely a lot on interaction with your opponent. Gross. That's not what you is about. Yeah. No. I want to. I want to stop my opponent from playing the game. What the fuck's this shit? Eh. I'll take my flunderies now, please. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna get to those. Yeah, We're gonna we'll, get to those. We'll, we'll, we'll get that. But yeah, that's 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 Karibos, but, and I think I think they they're good they're good fun, much more fun than anything else in this set. Yeah, there's there's also Dollhouse. Oh no, actually, I tell a lie. I like them as well. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of confused about this one because it makes things level six and dark. Yeah, and there's no really actual level six dark monster. Dark Xyz monsters that are worth summoning. Like, if I'm just looking at the list now, and there's like Sheridan. Like none of them, none of them specifically take dark monsters. That's for sh that's for sure. Yeah, it's. it's uh, what's, what's really it bizarre. Do Dollhouse. Is it is it yeah, is um... it is it law? Was there was there a level six Xyz monster that they used in the anime or manga? I have no fucking clue. I'd tell you if I knew. Yeah, well, it, does, it doesn't lock you out from summoning anything in particular, so you can, you can, you can just make... Math Mech Final Sigma! Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, you, you know, even even if you summon um, Labradorite Dragon, you can make um, Zulkin. So there's no there's no lockout. You can make Narito if you have spellcasters. You could make that Perrin, Skylark Dragon. Oh, it, oh, it looks like you can't make. Is it just Xyz? Yeah, I, I was hoping that. Uh, uh, I read it and I didn't realize it summons a monster with the same name. I, I was hoping you could like get a tuner from deck with like. Of an a vanilla from graveyard and just hard make final sigma. Uh, okay, no, so you can't. Okay, so no, no Zulkin either. Then that's that's fine. You I mean you can still? There's still some pretty good rank sixes which you can make. Yeah, they Actually, did I, just I, literally I, I, reprint Ptolemy M7, didn't they? Yeah, Ptolemy M7. You could make the new Jinzo layered. Jinzo even even not even bad. even things like Gauntlet launch is not not too bad, and Sheridan's pretty good. And like I said, uh, um, Narito, if you can make, if you can get spellcasters. 
you know, this, yeah. they're pretty good. And at the end of the day, once, once you're done with them, you're, you're only going to overlay it for Zeus anyway. Yeah, the the dark thing is, I don't know. I don't it's, know it's what that's about. It, it's superfluous. Like, it made sense for the... Um, for this continuous spell, because you just you could use it to summon Zombie Stein. Well, in theory, you could you could use them for anything else. But like the it it, it was thematically consistent. Yeah. Um. But after that, uh, this is the big one in this set. Piri Resi Map, aka, this is support for every deck in the game. <laughs> yeah, this card's gonna be expensive. As there's no there's no yeah. there's no two ways about it. Everyone's gonna be fighting for this. Konami knows everyone's yeah. going to be fighting for this. and Yeah, it, it sucks because I can think of at least three decks off the top of my hand that I could use this in. Oh, absolutely. And even, even like, like if, you, if you can think of five or six, there's still another ten, which you could just... Yeah, I, I mean, like, I'm thinking of bad decks, but like Sacred Beasts, Mech Lords, uh, fucking DDD. Yeah. Um, DD. Um, my brain's gone blank. So basically, I can't think of anything. <laughs> well, it's three decks, which is basically the whole game. But there's there's like a weird amount of shit this can work for, and the only restriction is that you have to normal summon it to make it work. Yeah, that's not really a restriction. <laughs> it, I mean, or, or it stops it's... you from hand trapping. Yeah. It's um, it's good. Un. Probably, probably a bit too good. Yeah, it's God. This is this card's gonna be like twenty dollars, which sucks, Dick. But I think I've more. ignored good shit before, so I'll do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say that you can live without it. Yeah. So don't don't uh, don't don't be too cut up if you can't find a copy. Yeah, but after that, Destiny Hero support, and it's not for the hero conglomerate. Into the trash with it. Actual um, Destiny Hero cards, like. Yeah. I know one of them called like Doctor D or something like that. Doctor D is good for a pure D hero build. Thanks, Doc. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Doc. D Force is. Oh, I, let me tell you. Let me tell you about D Force. D Force is a card that is so batshit insane that I have seen people in the Hero Discord unironically considering heavily main decking it. Okay, what does it do? Because I've not, I've not actually seen these cards yet. It's what D Force does is it essentially makes Destiny Hero Plasma fucking invincible. I can see why that. With means. the only, Quite. but it searches Plasma. Um, it then makes it so that your opponent cannot target anything on your field. The fucking, it can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. It can attack twice. It fucking, just. The only downside to this card is that it makes this out you can't draw during your draw phase, but if you've got a fucking fat plasma with Dark Law sitting on his fat ass too, fucking you win. Yeah, you've already won the game. It's it's an insane card. Yeah, that's, that's that sounds pretty good. And like heroes were kind of sort of playing plasma already, if I remember correctly. Like briefly they they, they... Absolutely. He is their go to turn one option. Yeah. Hey, there you go then. Any anything to keep plasma like sort of protected and alive alive there's also the other d card that you didn't think about what d's nuts <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm gonna add sound effects to that to make it sound like i'm dissolving <laughs> um after that is fake number four and friends oh yeah shit the, the more fake numbers this this gives me this gives me hope because I quite enjoyed, I, I, I enjoy playing Cicada King. So seeing the... Stealth Mosquito, Stealth Mosquito, Stealth Mosquito. Yeah, even like that and the, the, the main deck Cicada cards. Um, these, are, these are all cards that like were perfect for a set like Animation Chronicle. But, or, or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or this, or the one they're being imported in. But like they didn't, they didn't, they don't seem to quite want to finish the job yet, which is just bizarre. Yeah, um, I, I guess they want to like stretch things out, so they always want anime cards, which is also why I imagine that the day they reprint armor cards is the day that everything else in the set is going to suck dick. Because it's like, oh, we need something to sell the set. Um, I don't think they'll do armor cards. Not for a, a long time. 
It's that they, they don't they don't I'm, I'm, do they even function like normal cards? They're they're one of the few anime only subtypes of cards, and we have not seen them since that Valon duel. Um, <laughs> and that's why people care because they've seen it for five seconds and they want it. They must consume. <laughs> consume. And anyway, um, speaking of consumption, yeah, uh, Stealth Kraken, and Stealth Kraken spawn. Stealth Kraken. Yeah, he is. You need waters to make him, but he is a quick play pop of basically any monster on the field. But um, I, I think he, that might make him slightly better than Valiant Shark, depending on what you want to do. Um, he also floats into Crag and Spawn from the extra deck, which then I think loop back into him. Yeah, there's like um, a weird resource loop they've got going where you just summon Stealth Crag and, and Crag and Spawn. Yeah, no, I, I, I like Stealth Crag and he, he might prove to be like a decent. Um, a decent fucking Disruption. like replacement for Valiant Shark Lancer. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, I, actually, which is a shame because Valiant Shark Lancer only came out a few years ago. Yeah, he's not a bad card. I, I like Valiant Shark. Um, I think he only came out last year. Yeah, actually, that's that's what I mean. Like, it's only it's already been a year and it's been pretty much out. I don't want to play with you anymore. What was the main deck monster that um, came with them as well? I can't remember. Silent Sea Nettle. Ah. Uh. See, now that was an interesting short choice for shark builds, but it does lock you out of future dragons, so I don't know. Yeah, I suppose at this point you're you're already running things like um, Silent Angler anyway. Yeah, well, Silent Angler doesn't lock you out of water monsters. I mean, it doesn't lock you out of future dragons. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, um, it's it's a fine choice, and I think I think this new stuff is good. I think it's fun for sharks. It's just that it very emphasizes a heavy water focus. Um, what's in what's interesting is that they actually slightly changed Kragen from his anime effect to make him better. They combined his effect with um, an anime card that made all monsters on the field water. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, ciphers continue to eat shit. <laughs> Biplane is level 6, but he can make two things level 8 is okay. The deck still can't make real boss monsters, and it's also got a weird search effect that won't go off. The Cypher Interfere is fucking awful and only useful in pinch situations for OTKs, I guess. And Double Exposure is a fucking meme. Moving on. Uh, Declaration of Rebirth. <laughs> Have we spoken about that yet? <laughs> oh, uh, did we speak God, about that, that song? Because I'm, I'm literally just rattling off cards off, off the list of that's coming in front of the legend. I, I think we talked about Declaration of Rebirth last uh, time, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because um, I can see things like Dragonroid and the Noble Knight Shield Bearer. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we, we spoke about that. And, and missed us Appliancers, there. though. Yeah, no, new, new appliancer cards. Uh, yeah. Le Leo thing and the, yeah. and the quick play. Propellion is actually pretty good and helps the deck get over some shit and close out games. Um, and I was, I was really down on conversion at first, but consider this. Uh, if you attack with everyone and then banish them and bring them back immediately, they their attacks are reset. And you can use them as link material, can't you? That, it, I don't because know. Because they can't be used the turn they're summoned, but if you banish them and then bring them back, they're not link summoned. Therefore, you can... Yeah, yeah it's... I, I like this new stuff, but it doesn't solve the... It, sol it helps with the OTK issue, but it doesn't solve the solution for the main deck, which is not enough consistency and not enough main deck names. Yeah, that's sort of the one thing they need to now s start making non-anime appliance of cards. I assume, because they yeah. they've run out now. Yeah, it would be nice to see more of these lads, because I, I do like them. They're, uh, they're, they're a fun little deck, ultimately. Um... But uh, up next is the Ice Barrier! And then there's um the Ice Knight. And the Ice Knight is a decent card, and it's nice to see him finally printed, even if he doesn't actually help Monarchs a whole lot. He's he's kind of like a silent sea nettle for sharks once again, but he also still waterlocks, so I don't know. Yeah, I think this like this is probably objectively better than uh, sea nettle. Well, not really, because sea nettle is an extender, and this still has the risk of getting impermed. Not true. It's, it's not a bad card by any means. It's just that I don't know. I, I want to keep my shark plays loose and free. Um, oh, and also there's Ice Mirror, which they they somehow managed to make worse than the Duel Links version. 
Yeah, that's impressive. Like, I can't believe they took a card as good as that. And instead of instead of just, like, making it balanced, they completely overshot it and made it completely unplayable. Yeah, the, the only use I can see for this is, like, shenanigans with Swap Frog, but that's still, like, a two-card combo, man. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I say that like e it's ridiculous, but... Even then, like, I, at a push... Like, if you really wanted to play Frog Monarchs in some way, shape, or form, this is kind of, this is your thing. But that, that's that's just, it's not really viable these days anymore. Yeah. Um, but the ice, the actual Ice Barrier Trap itself is pretty good. Yeah, doesn't it search, like, Royal Knight? It's essentially, you can search any level 5 or higher water monster. You, you, yeah, you, you, which you, grabs Wayne. Yeah, you just, have, you just have to send it from the deck the graveyard first so you, they can get called yeah but called is a one of anyway well, actually, so. actually if i'm not mistaken it adds any water monster from or is it a five or higher so it sends sends a five or higher but it's they, five yeah or higher. it sends a five or higher but you can add any water monster from your graveyard to your hand yeah so that, wait but is it just graveyard or yeah no uh, just add add one water monster from your graveyard to your hand so as long as, as long as you've got a level five or higher water monster to send. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's it, yeah. As long as you've got a um a water monster already in your graveyard, this is this is fine for setup and shit. Um. I I to be fair, I even like the the on field effect. Yeah. No. It's. I mean, it is a bit situational, but like a permanent negate is pretty good. Yeah, even the even the attack modulation. I can think of a few decks that like. Would quite like having some reptile the end, reptile the end, reptile the end. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, the, I mean, the problem is that they're probably gonna die if they, you know, attack at that point. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, there's also bird hours. Bird up. Uh. Do, do, do. Uh, Lyra Lusk Bird Strike is a searchable dark ruler no more. It can be stopped, but it also doesn't have the damage restriction Dark Ruler No More has. Yeah, it's, it swings and roundabouts. Like you, you'd play, you'd play one alongside your three Dark Ruler No More. Yeah. Um, Wing Requital is a borderline free pot of greed for Wing Beast decks. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is this is not okay. I think. Oof. Yeah, it's the the one thing I've heard about this that people are iffy about is. You do already need to have a good enough hand to make this work. So the danger of becoming win win more ish. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It feels weird to say that about a pot of greed that doesn't have a lot of restrictions, but it's th that one tiny thing may be a make or break. I don't fucking know though. I'm stupid. Same. Yeah. I mean. <sighs> Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where, like, it's like when you look at Mech Lords and you see, Bo you read Boon for the first time, you think, "Well, this is this is a good card." But then, in practice, it is sort of it's hard to hard to get off in a way. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it, it's interesting, and I'll, I guess we'll just have to wait to see if it does anything. Mm. But. uh... <clears throat> Speedword scratch because they delayed the set by over a fucking year. Um, yeah, I'm I'm almost shocked to see that Speedroids actually have a, a, a real searcher now. It's a searchable searcher. A searchable searcher for Speedroids. Yeah, and the good news, the best part is that it requires you to already have a high Speedroid count, so it can't be abused for Terra Top. Good shit. Nice. Um, and then there's Penguin Sword. Uh, oh yeah, it's just it's just Penguin Sword in this set, isn't it? Yeah, it's and the cool thing about it is that it it also has like a pretty spicy negate. Yeah, it's like almost um, millennium eyes in its yeah it's, execution. Yeah, it, it prevents stuff from being reused even if you don't have no penguin up. It's penguins have had a good year. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about that too soon. Yeah, they've 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 been they're finally getting treated right, which is nice to see. Yeah. Um, summon Storm isn't worth thinking about since it's a specific summon card that makes your minus despite the graveyard effect. Next! 
Um, Toy Parade is interesting, but I'm not certain that Frightful, that Fright Furs of all decks need help with OTKs. No, I don't think so they do. I think you, you, you play one because it's a Frightful card. But other than that... Yes. I, I think that's it for Brothers of Legend. Uh, I'm... I'm a bit mixed on it. I think I'm bordering on positive, though. Yeah, I think it's. it's I think it's all right. I, I'm like, like I said, I'm, I'm quite happy to see things like the Karibo cards, the Dollhouse cards are pretty fun. Yeah, and all mixed world things like Sue ships. I'm just kind of sad that it seems like we're not getting full archetypes in these sets anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's the thing. Battles of Legend was always that kind of. Almost like deck build. Well, no, because they gave a shit like Battle Wasps and uh, Time Lords. So Battle Wasps isn't a great example because they're not very good, but yeah, Time Lords. They have a they have a spot in my heart. Yeah, I'd like to see more Battle Wasps, like in the future. No, yeah. I I I hope the new um, Dawn of Majesty Insect TCG stuff they've teased is pretty good and fun. But who knows if they're teasing it this much? It's going to eat up all the secret rare slots and not be very good. Lol. Um, I but uh, Utopia dot deck. Yes, the the structure deck. Are we excited? Yeah, let's. Are we excited? I I am very much, but um, we'll we'll get to that too. <laughs> Fucking ZS Hope Sage uh can help you get that rank, missing rank up or missing ZW piece that you may be needing by spitting out one of the new sages right from deck. He's also got destruction protection, which is kind of nice. And he can be ranked up into Dragonic or Leo, so he's a decent consistency piece. Um, I, I guess it's also nice that he's not a number, so if you run Gaga Ga 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 Ga, you can go for a Utopic F0 play on your following turn. Mm. I'm sort of um, just trying to bring up. Contract. Yeah. Contract of Destiny is slow, does something the deck can already do, and it's just bad. Next! Uh, numbers Protect is really good. Yeah, like, I, I quite like numbers protect. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to see a counter trap that just like can reset itself. And like we, we originally were concerned that it's, it wasn't searchable, but then something came along yeah. that made it. Yeah, let, let's just talk about that right now. Fucking Astro Utopic Hope or whatever his name is. Uh, he can extend and can add a shit ton of stuff to your hand. Be it another searcher or numbers protect. Uh, Ixie's change tactics. You fucking name it. This bitch can add Ixie's Remora to your fucking hand. Yeah. No, wait, no, we can't. But fucking, he's a good card. Yeah. He's this really. This fucking thing's nuts. I think the only thing it doesn't search, which makes me a little bit sad, is the Astral Karibo, which is also pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Astral Karibo is fucking great because he's. He's an extender for any deck that likes numbers, so you could theoretically use him in Photon Galaxy, but that does mean locking yourself out of Galaxy Trance. I suppose you can do it at the end of a combo. Well, I mean, you have Galaxy Trance locks you out for the entire turn. Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't know how Photons work. Yeah. Galaxies. It's okay. No one does. Um, but yeah, I, I like I, I like this deck a lot, which makes me concerned because. <laughs> The last time I liked the deck, we all know what happened. Yeah, and I think given how good everything in this set is, uh, we are very, very, very much on the cusp of losing this structure deck. But hopefully, this means this will save the um, the the agent the agent structure deck. Is that is that a good time to segue? Uh, yeah, let's segue. Let's go. Yeah, fucking agent. All right. Uh, it's it master. Flare Hyperion, first of all. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Um, he can copy the effect of any agent or any monster that mentions Sanctuary in the Sky and has a quick effect trigger ban target banish, which is okay. Being able to copy the Parshaf link is nice, since it means you have a really easily accessible search and Mystic Ball Spam. Um, yeah, I think he's okay. He feels a little bit underwhelming to me, but... I think level 10 is definitely an awkward level. Uh, well, it's a two-card combo that's easy enough to make. Well... Actually, three point five card. Um, yeah, that that, that to me borders on almost unplayable in the current. Yeah, z zero out of ten. <laughs> but no, other co um, uh, Majesty Hyperion also is, strikes me as a bit superfluous. It's, it's, yeah, it's just he, nowhere near as good. It's not. It's not a quick effect banish from graveyard, so it just doesn't even stack. Yeah, there's no. Re I don't know why they keep doing this very slow graveyard banish shit. It's just this doesn't help anyone fucking oh yeah and um 
Neptune is finally here and about time too. Um, he's an easy revive that makes stuff kaiju and nib proof, and even grab sanctuary if he's banished. Super good card and extender. Yeah, no, this is this is pretty much perfect and sets the bar for the rest of the support. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'll be honest. Ultimately, I'm kind of underwhelmed by these. Yeah. They don't do, they didn't, they don't do anything that crazy or that interesting or even super good. They're just okay. It's, it's mediocre adaptations for the modern age. Meaning we'll be getting this instead of the Utopia deck. Yeah. Fuck well, you, I mean, at least we finally get a structure deck. Ah, oh, this time. <laughs> oh, God. You hate to see it. I don't want to live anymore. But no, I think there's still it's still all to play for. Most structure deck cards get like what seven, five or six, seven cards of support. Yeah, yeah. There's there's probably at least the two. There's at least two more cards. So there. there's there's a lot of potential to at least it'll probably it'll probably at the very least make Flare Hyperion more viable. Yeah, um, I think I think the last big thing that we have left is Bood Lamau. Oh, Bood. I think we did speak not too long ago about um, the new Borrow cards. Yeah, we haven't seen the big new guy yet, so let's hope they don't announce that immediately <laughs> after this. Apparent, and then, like, apparently, we, this we, we have a name, and it's like Borrow Code. Borrow DDoS Dragon. And it isn't, it's, I think, like, the, the code, the code, the code dragons are supposed to be topologics, so it might be like, yeah, Borrowload topologic dragon or something like that. Borrowload, I have your address and I'm going to post it online, dragon. <laughs> no. And I think Fucking... all we all we have at the minute now is flunderies. Oh God, this deck. Yeah, I've been hearing that this is pretty good. I mean it. I'll be honest, it looks insanely good. We'll have to wait for tournament results to see if it is, because it does look a bit easily interrupted. Because you need to start off this... It's a deck that revolves around a long chain of normal summoning. Uh, it's like a neat tribute, aka stun, based archetype based around normal summoning three times in a turn at least. No, this is not a bit. The fucking... It's the year of the bird, baby. Yeah, no, birds got the suck. Um... But let's let's not kid ourselves. These things are these things are good. Um, well, at least on paper. I know yeah, I know I, mean, I know they do they do die quite hard to interruptions, which is pretty much part of the course in this game in this day and age. Yeah. But it, we can only like. They're also insanely weak to back row. Well, I think it's it's that's fine because you need they need something to be weak against. And I think. Back, if it has to be back row, that's that's fine. All it all it will do is influence side decking choices going forward. Yeah. Because M Pen searches the back row, gives another normal, is hard to run over, and acts as a floodgate for attack position monsters, which stops links entirely. Hmm. The counter trap's pretty funny. It it is. It's like ah, oh, you don't have a special summon here. Have have a normal summon. Not just any normal summon. Three, three normal summons. I think that that in itself is a free. <sighs> Looks like it's time for three Stratoses. Yeah, you joke. One, one day it will happen. But the, uh, to be fair, only <laughs> dude Stratos can search himself. <laughs> he really can. Oh shit! <laughs> so, ba so, ba so basically, <laughs> there, there's your meta. Just you know, play, literally run three Stratos. And three each. Here's what you do. Summon Stratos 1, summon Stratos 2, summon Stratos 3, grab Honest Neos, and you fucking win, baby. That actually sounds pretty funny. Cause you, cause you, cause it you, it you, is. Because you can run three e core as well. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We, we've solved Flunderese. You don't. You can thank us later. Man, I sure am glad that M-Pen doesn't have like an attack ma manipulation effect. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, stinky. Oh, um. Anyway, it's still on the topic of birds, but not wing beasts. Penguins are in bode, aren't they? The new penguin sport. Yeah, they are, and they're pretty good. Yeah, no, there's. I think that's. This is all we're getting for now, but yeah, these things are rad. 
Yeah. Fucking Penguin Adventure, because they couldn't call him Penguin here for the aforementioned reasons, is a fucking stupid easy setup tool for the deck. One of their face down and boom, baby, got yourself a spicy water synchro. Yeah, no, it's pretty rad. Like, my, my main concern is that what you can do is you can set a monster, summon, summon champion, flip it, and then just go Halky Fibrax. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's that's one thing they kind of overlooked. They really should have, because it can only be used as synchro material for a water monster, which means you can basically use it for anything else you want of any attribute. Um, but you can use it for you actually... can use it for Xyz plays, which is pretty funny. You can make you can make a rank three. Yeah. If that's what you're um... really into. Royal Penguin's Garden's also really good as far as searches go, because now you can you, you can grab your Emperor. Level it down, just like pitch, pitch your no penguin, and and you've got a you've got a chain blocked ember penguin ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Pe penguin ninja also resets flips and can delete back with fucking no penguin. Yeah, uh, it's nice. I wouldn't play any more than you would play penguin soldier because you'll find that back rows just. I know it's, I know it's it's starting to be a bit more a bit more prevalent in the game, but it's still not quite quite there yet yeah it's it's so weird to see this one-off card from like 1996 get like so much love i'm happy for him yeah he's he's he's, he's doing he's doing his best but that's but sometimes you'll find that's that's all all you can do yeah penguin knight also exists but he's he we don't talk about him um, unite your graveyard Pen cards in your own deck and shuffle them and form a new deck God, I, 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 I love the old wording of shitty cards. It is. It, it reads like a like a, a bio tapestry, like uh, ancient. Just it's just ancient ancient words. Yeah, ancient chant. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, Penguin Priest is kind of a weird card. Yeah, I I started off like playing more than I did, but then I gradually sort of cranked it down to like one copy. It's um. It's a bit more situational than you think. Yeah, it's it's definitely a weird one. Um, Royal Penguin's Field is a search spell and can also make you minus to slightly adjust a level like a fucking idiot. Yeah, I, mean, I mentioned that earlier where you can set you, ba you basically you set up your graveyard. If you, if you have the No Penguin, you you discard that because it triggers in the graveyard. But mostly you're using it to search your your Emperor. Yeah. And um, I think the last two archetypal r reveals are Magic Keys 2! Yeah, I still haven't really read these things properly, uh, so God knows what these things actually do. I'm I'm starting to get a bit more behind what their actual concept is, that being using normal monsters as, like, play extenders and shit. <laughs> uh, Greater Magic Key is a fucking decent extender. Um, Transfer Mine is a terrible name, but it's also a fucking Fire Thunder monster that can double attack, set back row directly from deck, and has a pseudo solemn effect. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it's it's nice to see like normal normal monsters being the focal point of a lot of a lot of decks now. Yeah. Even if I think the like Magic Key is definitely the best. Magic Key at the best. Um, but I think I think the most interesting thing from this is Wiparthu. Yes. Because, um, I mean, for starters, it le it lets you plus, um, and it outs literally every protection in the game. We're finally at that point, huh? Yeah, this is... This is the... The apex of removal. Yeah, the only way this could get better is if it shuffled it into the deck. Fucking, at the start of the, let me read this. If this card has a fucking normal monster material, I can do this. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster with the same attribute as a normal monster or a magic key monster in your graveyard, you can detach one material from this card make your opponent send their battling monster to the graveyard. Because it's making your opponent do something and not directly affecting the monster, it has to fucking die. Dante must die, bitch. Yeah, Go to graveyard. That is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that on a card before. Um, no, there is one. Um, I think designated by the Abyss, and I think Cyber Angel Dakini. Uh, so nothing good then. 
Yeah. But this, the, the, the difference is that this one specifically lets you choose by making an attack target, which is why it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So you, so you, 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 you basically choose what to send to the grave, but you make your opponent do it. <laughs> Who do I send to the grave? You, the opponent. <laughs> send your opponent to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> the caught by the grave hand just comes up and pulls them under. No, judge! <laughs> judge! <laughs> Lord, Lamau. Man, I can't wait to see that Fucking... in the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, there's also, there's one other, hold on, there's Magic Key Battle. I gotta look this up, because I remember it being interesting. Yeah, there's Magic Key Battle, which is a really interesting pseudo-negate. It essentially allows you to dodge your opponent's negates and, like, really devastating effects by just recycling one resource. That's not bad. That's, it's a less offensive form of protection than most. Yeah, no, I, 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 I've mentioned before, but I really like this trend where it's like, instead of just having them be unaffected, it's like, bam, dodge that card entirely. I, I really like that concept. Yeah, it's like, um, what's the Sky Strike card? It, e it's also booster. not once per turn. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a quick play, so you have, you have to set it to use it on your opponent's turn anyway, right? Set three, baby. Try removing me now, bitch. <laughs> Safe. Yeah. Um, then there's Magic Key Lock, which lets you grab two lads from the graveyard and make more plays from there. Um, yeah, I, I like these a lot more than the first batch. Yeah, it's starting to sort of, like, come into its own. Yeah, it's congealing like bacon fat. Um... <laughs> They're getting more fun tools and more fleshed out. I can now look at these and say, oh, this is the attribute-based normal monster deck instead of being, what the fuck is this? I've I've got more confidence in what this deck does, and I look forward to seeing what else they can do. Also, from a lore perspective, it seems like they've, they've ditched the the stuff they started to establish, like with the, um, the Dogmatica and all that. I seem to have thrown that right in the trash. This This is your new lore. Good. <laughs> this is where dogmatic is belong. Um, anyways, uh, the last one from Bode is Sushit These Nuts Lamau. Um, yeah, Sushit's got more stuff, starting with Uni. Uni is tasty. Also, it's a level 5 that can special summon itself, but will probably make you minus to do so unless you have Rice Sushit. It has an easily adjustable level, but I really hate that shuffling condition. Yeah, it's, it's, in, it's different. I'll give it that. Yeah, it's, um, what else is there? Um, Ice, Ice Fist. Fist. Ice Fist looks like the fucking sperm sushi and has a pretty easy uh, summoning condition to help extend. He also recycles and can spit out other sushi ships from hand. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's a good card, but the artwork definitely makes me feel, like, unwell. Attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in this image and I don't like it. Um... Yeah, let's see. Uh, they got the two new Xyz. Yeah, the Uni Xyz. He's got fat stats and can attack directly if it has Uni as material while drawing one with rice. He's got a nice mass uh, non-targeting negate, but the times you can use it are pretty situational. Only during your main phase and the opponent's battle phase. Yeah. I'm willing to bet by the time on your main phase that you can negate with this guy, the opponent's negates will have already been used up, and negating on their battle phase is pretty weak. Yeah, I thought we'd gone past this point already with with cards you can't you can't just like go negate battle phase because by the time your battle phase has come chances are they've just dealt with it yeah um the ice fish ixies searches back row of ice the uh back row if it has ice fish as material which is exactly two cards um and let's see it also gives you Ixie's Sue Ship's protections while you have a field spell up and gives them attack equal to their very, very meager defense. Um, yeah. It can search... Yeah. It's searching the back row is nice for extending and protection by getting the field spell, but, yeah, but this one feels really underwhelming. Kind of, like, considering there's only two pieces of back row you, you can search right now, they, they need... Yeah. If there's going to be one more wave, which I, I, I imagine there will be, they need to, like, just come out with one one more spell one more trap and ice fish will be really good yeah 
I'm, I'm kind of mixed on this wave, haha, <laughs> funny, of Sioux ships because they feel really underwhelming and have some weird restriction tacked onto them while not having the power plays that Magic Keys were given. Yeah, like they've, they've basically tried to do the same thing twice, and obviously when you go for the double dip, it never quite like plays out how you want it to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's most of the big stuff. There's Puppet Queen and Larage who were announced, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, Battle of Chaos was announced, but that also means nothing. Maximum Gold Eldorado is happening, but we don't know much about it aside from IC 1000 and uh, I think some other crap. More gold cards, I guess. More old arts. Yeah. The the very last thing I want to talk about, though, and this will be a very small thing, is Hidden Arsenal Season 1. Ah, uh, yes. Hidden Arsenal. The re-arsening. <laughs> what a fucking mistake of a set. Yeah, I think I, sp is this... I spoke to you about this a, a few days, even weeks ago. Um, and I was like, are there actually any decent cards in this set? Barka. That's it. Yeah, and I knew that I knew that hidden arsenal archetypes are bad because if you've been playing this game long enough to be on Edo Pro and you'd look at these things, there's a reason then they're not around anymore. Yeah, uh, hidden arsenal archetypes didn't get good for until like hidden arsenal four, I think, with shit like Gishki and Dragunity. I mean, well, no, Dra Dragunity was earlier, but like most of the cards in this in these are fucking bad. It's, and it's, it sounds like just a box, com like, I know I know we, we throw the term pack filler around, like, quite quite readily, but this this is literally the next level of pack filler. The TCG has really been slacking on their game. It's been embarrassing. It's, like, yeah. Like, you, I, you, I, would, you wouldn't bring a set out like this without actually committing to new support i don't know why they're just like raw dog in old old arch yeah it's old archetypes that aren't even that great i know dragoon the enfabled technically got um new support semi recently but like everything else in there is mm. iceberry's got most of their shit reprinted already in the fucking structure deck yeah which is another like questionable decision we have to think to yourself why why have you chosen to to do this it's there's so much crap in hidden arsenal like naturia and worms it's most of, i i know some cards in some of those decks are a little bit uncomfortable in terms of prices like i know fabled has a few but for fuck's sake no one is going to buy this the only good things are it's got some little lore cards which are neat and it'll have um some dice designs and it's nice to see some more game original cards get dice but that's about it really this thing sucks <laughs> yeah not that's a good note to end it on yeah depression. yeah this this fucking sucks goodbye everyone yeah i love you <laughs>